Hello there everyone, welcome to Omega Loot Gaming for this double weekend upload. And today we have a really special video because my man Ryan Cassidy, who is obviously my tactics guy, has found something which I wanted to bring to your attention because I think this little country, I say little, it's a massive country, but in the world of aspects of football, this country has gone under the radar, completely under the radar, and you guys need to know about it. I am talking about the country of Syria. Now, of course, politics aside, this country is not really known for its football footballing talents. However, Ryan told me before I need to start loading this, and then he started telling me players to search for uh, in this, and I started realizing that he is right once again. Shock horror, and I'm going to show you exactly what we discovered. So this is the pre-game editor. Now basically what I'm showing you here is the fact that we have uh, a filter set up on the uh, people section of the database. This is all the players in the game now loaded. So this is age between uh, 16 to 19. We do have the potential ability range. So this is potential ability of the players between 16 and 18, between 110 and 140. Now if a player only reaches 110, that considered to be very, rather poor. However, these also have a range which can go to 140 because like we have mentioned before on plenty of occasions, the range is a varied range. It isn't exactly set for one uh, number. It can be different. So I could load a game and these players could be 110. You could load a game and they could be 140. Now we also have as well uh, a range of 120 to 150. And if we contain the nation of Syria, and by the way, I've checked higher, there isn't any. If we contain the country of Syria, these players, all from Syria, come up 16 to 19. And what's amazing about them is you barely have to spend any money on them. Right, so I'm now here on the screen of the biggest database that you can possibly get, every player in the game, and I've loaded Syria at the start, just like I mentioned before. And this is the reason why you should be loading them. So I'm Manchester United because I've just selected Manchester United. Uh, to be honest, it doesn't really matter. What I do want to show you, though, is these type of players. So let me start typing them in, uh, and you'll, you'll understand exactly why you need to be... And I've just realised this is going to take me a while because they have really long names. Right, so this is the first one that we're going to have a look at today. 20 Determination. And what I noticed when I went into the editor and had a look at these players, because I've moved them to a certain club to see really how they develop, is they have certain attributes that are fixed, and a lot of them are all determination and a high determination at that. Not one of their determinations was below a 12. So I haven't changed this. They will all be the same on your game as well as my game, and you can double check that as well. What I also notice is that they have high ambition and professionalism, which means that they are more likely to reach their intended potential. So we have our first man here, and I don't have a face pack for them because... It's Syria, I guess. Um, he is valued at £475. Now, you can approach the sign, and you'll probably pay nothing as well. Uh, but if we... I mean, okay, let's... For, for, for instance, let's just have a look. If we finalise that and have a look, you have to pay 575 k That's quite a lot, actually. But if you go to the actual team itself, this is how much you will actually pay for them. And if we take off the uh, percentage of next fee... They will accept £475. You can literally get that. £475. Okay, just to prove it wasn't a fluke, we now have Mohamed Rahania, uh, who actually looks a better player. 17 years old. He's at a different club. Again, still from Syria, though, and still in Syria. Uh, 17, worth seven, £475. We take off the percentage from next fee. We suggest the offer accepted again. Ahmad Al Dali, again, high determination, 17 years old, 470 pound. We take this off. And I'm telling you, viewers, it happens once again. This country is full of just hidden gems. 
completely hidden gems and if you sign them all you're going to be spending like three thousand pound and if you're playing in a country where you don't have work permits you don't have the foreign player rule so these uh middle east countries when they eventually come to you it doesn't matter whether they're in your side this is a gold mine for you because you can literally sign all these players for like less than 10 grand. And if you're in like the second division of, I don't know, Croatia or something, they are going to be winning you the league easily. And they're going to get better and better and you're going to make huge profits from them. One last example here, Haifam Al Luz. I mean, there are more players, but I'm using this as a glass example. He has 20 determination, a rather good right back uh, for 18 years old. Again, we'll take that off. We'll offer them that and they will accept. Now, not only is there really good players who are like wonder kids, but there are actually some really good talented players in the league who are already fully developed and can do a job for you in the majority of lower leagues, maybe in the top division sides as well, who are a little bit older. You can still pick them up for the same similar price. Because if we're looking at the Syrian national side, if we have a look underneath this player here, because all the players above are pretty much playing in different leagues, the likes of Kuwait uh, and Saudi Arabia, where the valuations are much higher, we have the players here where the threshold is just much lower. So we have a 25-year-old here, 46K, Omar Medani. Uh, and look, I mean, that is 46K. I mean, he is well worth 46k. If I was like playing in, in League 2 and I knew he would get a work permit, which he might do, to be fair, uh, if he plays enough League games, 175 grand for that player. Unbelievable. I think this is the biggest one, though. Mohamed Al Mamour. Uh, and Ryan tells me to sign this guy all the time. 23 years old. He's worth 950 quid. Uh, and again, it will go for it. I mean, this is, it's boring me showing you this really, but again, 950 quid for a player who, to be honest, is very good. He's 115 current ability. He looks better than that, doesn't he? I mean, I'd love to have had this guy on conquering Scandinavia when I was going through those divisions because he would have just tore the, the division apart. He's very, very good for 950 quid. I can't believe it. And he's only on a hundred pound. His wages are a hundred pound. He's 23. This is outstanding. But of course, you know I like to do things differently. I have taken over two clubs, Bate Barasov and Copenhagen. Shout out to uh, Zealand who managed to win the Champions League with Bate Barasov. What a man. Uh, but I have tried to do similar things, but with some Syrian players. Now, as you can see, I am the manager of Bate Barasov. They are currently sat in third because of the 1st of June, they don't have a league. But Bate Barasov, the first season, they didn't win the league. Now, I, I'm not claiming that they've done it three times, okay? They didn't win the lead the first time round. They won it the two after. Now, if we do look at the squad, though, we have some Syrians in the side. I've made sure they've been played. Kamel Koewa, Kamel Koewa. Probably got that wrong. As you can see, anyway, this man is Bate Barasov's best player, the number 10. And he is phenomenal, ladies and gentlemen. 131 current ability. He is tearing the league up. He's five star and he has done very well for them. From Syria, you can pick him up for 950 quid, whatever he is. And every year he's done really well. So far, he's going to beat out those totals. Nine appearances there, six goals, eight assists. Phenomenal stuff. He has an average rating of 8.59. Mohamed Harb, uh, used as a cam role or on the right midfielder role. Also very good. Also doing really well. Uh, and we have this man as well in the CDM role. Developed lovely. What a CDM he is. 136 current ability at the age of 21. He still has time to grow as well. Doing phenomenal stuff here for Bate Borisov. Putting in some good performances as well. The last one that we have, the DM in this game, uh, has performed nicely. Again, four-star, five-star ability, 133 current ability. Hasn't performed as well goals and assist-wise, but some good average ratings. Over to Copenhagen then, and they have done just as well. And if we have a look at the profile, uh, they haven't lost a league title, okay? So they've managed to win it every single season. And if we have a look at the squad, I have given them three Syrians to play around with. Uh, the midfield centre here of Abdullaram al Khatib. Um, sorry, Syrian people, if I've got those names and I've butchered them. But look at this man. 150 current ability. He has gone to his maximum. At 19 years old, he has reached maximum current ability. And he is phenomenal in that centre mid role. What a player this guy is. 
absolutely outstanding. 12 goals and 7 assists in 32 appearances with a 7.47 rating. He is class. He's genuinely really good. He's worth £6 million now at 19. The money that you can make on these players. Uh, let's have a look at the other two that I have given them though. The right back, Haytham Alouz. Uh, hasn't developed nicely in the technicals, but still mentals and physicals doing really well. Worth 2.2 million. In a league like Copenhagen's playing, is good enough. Like, this is good enough. He's putting in good performances. They're still winning the league with three of these guys in their team developing as well. And finally, Mohamed Rahania, uh, who I highlighted in the first uh, part of the video here. Now at age 20, worth 1.7 million. Has developed into a lovely little centre midfielder here. Uh, still only 20 years old, remember, and a current ability of 128. He has put in some good performances, always putting in a 7 rating. And remember, you pay around about 500 quid for him. So there we have it then. That is Syria. You need to be loading Syria at the start of the game. And the way to do that is you go to advanced settings, you go to custom database, and you go to, I think they're under the title of Asia, uh, and you go down and select Syria as add players uh, at the country, or you just you know, make a huge database and like I've done and add them that way. It's, it's up to you. As long as you manage to find Syria and add the countries, because of course they don't have a playable league in the game. They only have uh, the country to add so you can get the players from them. That's the way to do it, to find these uh, hidden gems who you can literally, n you're barely spending any money. I can't quite get over how cheap they really are. But I mean, you You've seen it yourself, how good they are for a club like Copenhagen and for Bate Borisov, how good they can be to dominate these like second tier leagues. So not obviously the top European clubs, they would struggle. They really would struggle because they're not, they can't quite reach the, the potential of 160, 170. Near and near enough, and some of them, if they do reach the highest potential of 150, could still do a job in the Serie A or the Bundesliga. But... Make sure if you are using leagues who don't necessarily, or you're planning on using leagues which don't necessarily have the highest uh, regarded players in the world, you load up Syria because you can pick up some bargains and when they come to you and they develop like these guys have, then you'll be thanking me, I'm sure. So there we have it then guys, please drop a like on the video if you found this helps or you just enjoyed watching it. Massive thank you for Ryan Cassidy for his extensive work of finding these players yet again. I hope you enjoy the content that we have for you here on Omega Loot Gaming. If you do, please press that subscribe button. It will mean the world to me as we carry on forward before as we go to 4,000 subscribers now. So that is huge. I'm really pleased with the growth that we have on the channel so far. And I hope you're all doing really nice in the lockdown. Keep safe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Well, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, there's another one below that I have picked for you to have a look at. Also, if you'd like to sponsor me as a content creator by pledging to my Patreon page, you can do just that by following the link below and be like one of these wonderful people. Thank you.